day today, a little cooler than yesterday, but, you know. No complaints. Yeah, I mean, it could be worse. It's yeah, uh, December, worse. after all. <laughs> I, uh, it was very nice for the, for the kids there at the Helping Hand Home. Yes. I had an opportunity to be there this afternoon with them. They okay. really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Temperatures this afternoon, uh, only in the 50s, though. Uh, so it was jacket weather today in most areas. Here's a look at some readings around the area. Uh, we've had a major communications uh, collapse, really, with the National Weather Service. So I'm showing you temperatures here on a map from the uh, Lower Colorado River Authority. And I realize that it may be a little difficult for you to see uh, at home. So Look close. Uh, low and mid 50s here around the Travis County area right now. The air temperatures you see there in green, uh, those are readings that are in the 40s. Uh, already, And you can see out in Burnett County, out in Blanco County, Gillespie County, uh, some readings 47, 48, 49 degrees. Let me to show you folks over to the east that you're mainly in the 50s right now, low and mid 50s there in Bastrop and in Fayette County. We hope to have our uh, connection restored to the National Weather Service, which is the source for our uh, local and statewide uh, temperature uh, readings that we get, uh, for the most part anyway, and uh, we haven't had them all day long. 53 degrees uh, here in Austin right now, with, with you saw a few minutes ago, some high clouds off in the distance, uh, 46 at 8 o'clock tonight, and 42 is our 10 p.m. forecast, so it will be a chilly night tonight. Mold count medium uh, in our allergy forecast for Monday around the state. We had some clouds in the sky this morning, uh, kept us above freezing in many locations, but those will not be with us tonight. few high clouds out there right now, but we're not expecting them to remain with us very long uh, during the overnight period, so it's going to be a little bit chilly. One storm system moving into the west coast, another one situated here over the Great Lakes and northeast. Uh, this one is not going anywhere very quickly, and so every uh, weather pattern uh, from the middle of the country eastward uh, right now is going to be pretty much locked in place, and for us, that is a uh, northerly flow aloft, which uh, translates generally to cooler weather at the surface uh, that will remain in place from now all the way through midweek because of this persistent area of low pressure. It'll lift to the north, but not really much off to the east, and so our weather doesn't really change very much. Uh, then we will see later in the week that flow flatten out a little bit, and as a result, we will see then some uh, more mild temperatures, but not until after uh, Wednesday, most likely. We, we also will see on Tuesday, with a little weak disturbance riding that flow, is a little increase in cloudiness around the area, but we're not expecting that little disturbance to bring us anything in the way of precipitation, and that's what we can certainly use. So, it will remain cool uh, in the afternoons for the next couple of days, but actually a little bit uh, chilly uh, when it comes to readings at night. And like tonight, for example, we're forecasting 34 for uh, Austin uh, in the morning. Actually, I think it's going to be a little closer to 32 in most areas around the metro area and out in the hill country, rural locations, likely a freeze if these clouds uh, do indeed clear out like we believe that they will. Uh, tomorrow, maybe uh, 56, 57 degrees or so. And then on Tuesday, up to about 60 degrees after a morning low of 34. So notice the mornings stay cold and the afternoons cool. But on Wednesday, back up to 63. That feels pretty good when you have afternoon sunshine. And then nice weather returns. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I think we're back to 70 degrees or above before another cold front uh, moves in and drops our temperatures again about a week from today, kind of like what happened today.